So, so I've, I've loved building software um, ever since I, I discovered my first computer, and that was in, uh, my, my parents gave me a computer in 82. It had three kilobytes of RAM. Um, so what is that, like one one thousandth of a single MP3 song? Um, and, um, but I discovered uh, what, you know, what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I mean, the joy of creating software was just something I, I couldn't resist doing. So um, it was easy for me to pick a major at Dartmouth, although I also minored in, in Latin and classical studies, and I guess that kind of is... Part of the story might be that I, I had a broad set of interests, and I wasn't just, you know, I loved the art side of creating software, not just the science side of it. Um, so, so, you know, I couldn't believe that I could get paid to do this, you know, to write code and, and build software. And so it was an easy yes to, to say, to come out here and work for Apple. You know, that's a really significant point because we celebrate that here at Stanford. I think we use the term humanist engineer. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah. there is this dichotomy saying, well, you're either an engineer or a humanist and you right. can't be both. Do no. you agree with that? Or no, I think the very best um, engineers really do have an instinct for what people want and empathy for the end user. Um, even if you're just designing something like an API, there's someone who is using that API. Um, and so um, that's why I think liberal arts educations are great for developing the whole set of skills that are mm -hmm. involved in grading, building great software. Um, and of course, you need to learn how to work with people too if you're, if you're working on a team, no matter what your role is. So I'm a big believer in that, big believer in that.